All right, welcome. If you want to go ahead and skip to the part that you came for, so learning those skips, I'm going to be doing a little disclaimer ahead of time, so feel free to jump right to those. They're going to be down in the description in regards to timestamps. Um, I'm going to be covering the four main skips today that I would consider to be uh, relatively useful to an extent. Obviously, each of them will be respective to their own uh, cases where you're going to use them. Most of these are kind of just for fun. Um, and obviously there is a what I would consider to be top dog skip in regards to current strats for garden. So, you know, to each their own. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it with the Titan. So with Titan, we're going to be doing the first and second skip for them using Temptation Soak, Hunter Mobility, Lion Ramparts, and Middle Tree Arc with, yeah, Thunder Crash. From there, Catapult Lift, just preferenced for, of course, Titan Flying. As you can see, I like to take the right-hand side. Majority of my skips, or pretty much all of them, I do take the right-hand side. It just tends to be more uh, consistent. I use rest less resources to get up it and move along it. Um, and, you know, I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. Its timing is pretty good, so, you know, it works for me. But obviously, it's up to preference as to where you want to get your, your skip started. However, with Titan, I definitely recommend right-hand side. It's just straightforward to the point. As you can see, a lot of these are going to be pretty casual. I don't really um, strain on going for the maximum efficiency on my skip. Not for these, for this video at least. So you'll notice that a lot of these skips are pretty, pretty casual. I'm not really too worried about making mistakes. At this point, you'll notice that I like to use the sword skating method, or, sorry, uh, sword flying method for Titan. With that one, you can use an aggressive frame sword, temptations hook, or falling guillotine. All of those work. And then of course you want to get across that gap and through that soft barrier. That soft barrier is right after that little red strip up on top of that green flat spot. You'll notice it's a little pushback barrier. After I get past that barrier, which can be done through sword swipes or kind of any sudden motions. So, you know, the Titan jump can do it as well. Then I'm just going to be moving forward to the left hand side, killing myself in that little spot. With Recluse, you can use any weapon. From there, obviously, I jump down after respawning, and from here I'm going to be Titan flying. But in, I, you could Titan fly and Thunder Crash. Um, you could also do what I do here, which is um, I use the Ground Pound essentially, and then as I'm going through that motion, that animation, I switch over, press Q, and use my Super. So I never have to switch between animations; it fluently goes between them, which is nice. Gets you extra distance with that Super. From there, it's just simply getting to the end. So let's get on to the second skip. Second skip is going to be utilizing the same materials that we used before, the same resources. Uh, Temptations Hook in this case, Mobility with Ramparts, Middle Tree. And you can use whichever jump you like, Catapult, High Lift, kind of whatever. I prefer Catapult just for Titan flying, obviously, and for me that works. Um, I'm going to be using the kind of forward area to get up top to this, uh, this platform here that I'll be hitting in a second. Um, and this one right here. The reason being because I don't really find the other one, the other way to get up there too direct, so I like this one, it's a little more direct. As you can see, you just jump up on that one pillar, and uh, make sure you get out of that kill barrier fast enough and you're fine. From here, it's just jump up as high as you can, hit Q, and then super up to this platform that I'll fall to now. That is going to be really easy to pull off. Titan is the easiest skip to pull off completely. Um, as we get to the top, it's just simply, you know, jumping, sword swiping into those areas you see. Um, and then once we're up top, it's just simply maintaining height, because this is just a softbox skill barrier that's um, kind of low, so it allows you to be above it. In this case, Lion Ramparts does the job. You could sword swipe if you need extra height for longer, like for other classes like Warlock or Hunter or whatever. As you can see, when I jumped down, there was a little pushback there. Um, that's a soft little barrier that you have to get around. It's a hard barrier, my bad. It likes to push you back, so you have to just kind of let it fall, let your character fall, and then push through it um, using like a jump, so in this case Titan flying. Now this is where Titan strives the most, and this is where they can gain some speed back compared to other classes, at least previously. Um, you could Titan fly, and you can maintain that height. What this allows you to do is completely skip over the water wheel. You do not have to take it, and in fact I don't recommend taking it on Titan because of the timing when you're getting here. You might as well just take, uh, in my case, the tree route. I like this, I kind of found it, and I liked working with it. It's not great. The visibility is kind of shitty for like landing on platforms, and it's very strict, restricting um, in regards to that. 
But once you get used to it, it's pretty good, and you will skip over uh, the water wheel with plenty of time to spare. Because as you can see, I'm passing the point, and what would have been carrying me isn't even up there yet. So it does give you a little bit of time save. Alright, so now I'm going to be finishing up this skip. That's just a matter of, in this case, Titan skating, which doesn't really exist, but whatever. Um, just kind of doing what you can to get up top. I like to take this little area you'll see to the right, because for me, I feel like that's the most efficient for Titan. Um, I'll, I'll jump off here and I'll sword fly, but honestly, you could go one platform up and sword fly and have a much better time at this, this ending part that you'll see. Uh, it's not terrible. Honestly, I would say there are a bunch of ways you can optimize these skips, so feel free to just mess around with them, you know? As you learn them, mess with them and see what works, what doesn't. Of course, the ending of this is very simplistic. It's just you know, getting up top, getting that height. And as long as you can maintain some, some good height as you go through these areas, um, usually you'll be fine. I don't really find myself bouncing off of objects too badly. I like this left side. Um, it's just preference. I haven't really timed the two to test how much faster either one is over the other, because they're very minuscule. They're right next to each other. It's maybe a second time save, if that. And most of these skips don't require that. Uh, especially Titan. Titan, depending on whether or not you're running RTA or API, can be forgiving or harsh. Really depends. Alright, and as you can see, that's, that's pretty much the end of it. Titan's pretty easy. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and get over to the Warlock. So for this, I'm just going to be showcasing Dawnblade on the first skip, just because, obviously, I don't really see a point in showcasing other stuff. It's just kind of the same as Titan, where it's 100 mobility, um, you know, a sword, having, in this case, transversive steps, uh, and then Top Tree Dawn is what I prefer. In this situation, it's what I would consider to be the best. And I like to use right side once again. You'll see that I do a very similar pattern. Um, it's just something I found to be consistent and speedy, so hi, work with it. All right after we get up here, that's where you can do kind of whatever your rhythmic pattern is for movement. In this case, I'm not going to be using my super throughout this first skip because of the fact that typically I don't actually have that super. So for consistency's sake, I'm not going to be utilizing it, and I'll just show you how you can pretty much do this entire skip without it. As you saw, I did some sword skating to get up there. Uh, I used my uh, heat rises here, do a sword swipe, that way I can give myself time for my uh, dash to recharge typically, and then it's just a second dash very casually and into the barrier. As I get to that barrier, um, it's a nice sword swipe in. Okay, after I'm through that barrier, obviously down to the left and kill myself and respawn. So from here, I just drop down. I usually just sprint and jump because it's a nice easy motion to get down there without hitting anything. And then I like to bounce off these edges um, to give me a little extra speed. One thing you'll notice with this as well, like I said, I don't use my super here. Because um, typically I don't have it. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I just utilize this little path right here on the left-hand side. You may or may not know about this. It's pretty easy. You can hit it on literally any class. So if for whatever reason you don't have mobility resources, it's a really good alternative to uh, get past that point. And then, of course, you know, scuffed dashing. Of course, why not? And we're finishing out here. Alright, so, let's go ahead and get into the second skip here. As you'll see, I'm using pretty much the same thing. Sword, Hunter Mobility, Transverses. Um, but this time is a little bit different. With Top, Fleet, Top Tree Dawn, I'm going to be utilizing the uh, Balance Glide as well as the Burst Glide. Uh, burst Glide is more for distance movement and Icarus dashing, sword swipe, sword skating, all of that. Um, whereas Balance is more for height. That's its uh, thing. So you can use Balance on all of this. As you can see, I'm just using the same beginning setup in regards to this direct route. Uh, but anyways, Balance is going to be utilized here, so feel free to start it even before you go and do this skip. Alright, so I pop my nade here, just so I can get that heat rises, and all I do is jump, so double tap space, to get as high as I possibly can. From there I get to this platform that you'll see, go up, same thing, all I'm doing is I'm utilizing that double jump to get the max height. After I get around and outside that little area, you'll see that I uh, basically just aim to kind of the left hand side of that slanted area, go acres dash in, and then from there I can reset my jump and get some additional height. 
Alright, from there I get up top, and obviously you'll see here I'm moving through the soft kill barrier. Um, and then I'm finishing out my route in the soft kill barrier. It's pretty much just using that balance glide to gain it, to hold as much height as you can, so sword swiping, Icarus dashing, just to maintain height at certain points. From there, I bounce off that soft wall, and, you know, double Icarus here, drop down, sword swipe. There we go, we're on the little platform, get up top. And this is a huge time save, and I'm so glad I found this. I forget who it was that showcased this, but it was uh, really, really nice. But anyways, I just jump off the little side to the right, do a sword swipe Icarus dash, so the swap method of skating, and then I just pop super, and I specifically don't start my glide until I fall down to a certain point. Once I hit the load zone, that's when I pop my glide, essentially, and then Icarus dash from there, all the way here to the water wheel. Now, originally, the this finishing off for the part of the skip was meant to go to a little side on the right-hand side where you can actually climb up instead of taking water wheel. I utilize it for water wheel because I've found that that is, in my opinion, faster. Whether or not it is is, you know, up for practice and debating. But typically, you'd want to practice that and, you know, judge the two accordingly. Anyways, from there, it's just simple Icarus Dash uh, skating as I go up and kind of finish out this skip. Um, as I get to the top here, I like to go just directly across this Vex Milk, I pop Heat Rises, and then I just do a Sword Swipe, Icarus Dash, Icarus Dash. Nice and calm, gets me to the end, and then I just pop off this wall. Now what I did there is I double jumped off the wall so I got immediate momentum from my jump, um, still had the Heat Rises, and I was hitting up against an object, so the game forced me up fast. And from there, it's just kind of some simple Icarus Dash skating, getting that height, and getting up to these platforms. So, you know, of course, timing that jump, because as you may or may not know, the way that glides function in this game for Warlocks, the faster you double press your glide, the more height you're going to gain, the more distance out you press your glide, the more horizontal distance you'll gain in regards to um, how it's going to carry you. And then it's a simple up and to the finish. So it is a nice easy skip, very fast, um, and does offer quite a bit. Now overall, there's some practice techniques I can definitely recommend. If you want to just practice your height, switch over to Balance Glide down here, and kind of just, you know, try to get a rhythm going for how high you can get your Warlock. Obviously there is a max height to reach, your goal is to hit that consistently. So if you feel like you're inconsistent about your jumping with Warlock, feel free to just test it out here. This is a nice little area, simple to just do some jumps up and down and gain that height. Now there is another area up top, I like to use this if I need to practice even more. And this gets me more tested with the environment, I'm actually jumping this height in. So obviously first I'm just doing some height jumping, just going as high as I can consistently, falling back down and gliding right back in. Going up, finishing it out, gliding back in. Once again, double tapping space as fast as possible in order to gain the distance and um, the height for Warlock. You can stretch this out a little bit more. Uh, you actually have enough glide that you can just go up and around and then let yourself glide back down if you wanted to, to come back in here. It's a nice way to test your jump height and also get a feel for going around that corner. This helps with gaining Warlock control and feel free to, if you ever mess up at any point, just fall and die, because usually your res token will stay up here. So keep that in mind. Alright, and then after, just pop heat rises, the same motion. And as you can see, I focus on this little area in the left-hand corner. Notice where my crosshair is pointed. Icarus dash or sword swipe into that area, and you're going to get up top. Alright, so let's move on to the Warlock with the... Nova Warp Skip. This one is particularly popular early on in the cycle of GOS and still remains to be uh, pretty well utilized. So same thing here, Hunter Mobility, this type, this time Astrocyte Verse, uh, My Sword, and then of course Middle Tree, Nova. So with that we're just going to be using the Burst Glide movement to get ourselves up the top to a certain point. Once again just using that direct route. And then after I'm there Keep in mind sword swiping helps you get into those little nooks and crannies a lot easier, by the way. So if you need control, sword swiping is there. It's blink, sword swipe, blink. Keep that. Keep in mind that second blink needs to be quite rapid to make that pretty effective. All right, and then it's blink, cast super, blink, into blink. When you cast your super, it resets your blinks as well. You have two blinks that you can utilize pretty much in rapid succession, so feel free to keep that in mind. You'll get basically three blinks out of that. From there, I swap off. Dawn Blade, because 
that's going to be your fastest movement to finish this out. This is one of the things that also kind of counteracts utilizing the Nova Warp as well, because in the end, Dawnblade is going to offer you more in regards to the amount of resources you have to utilize when doing skip. Um, and also, the Dawnblade Super here at the end is very effective. So if you're looking for maximum speed, more so world record timings, I would definitely recommend Dawnblade over the Nova Warp. It's not to say the Nova Warp can't keep up, but it does lose time in regards. Um, for example, I know with Dawnblade you can get sub 3 minute skips on the second one, which is very helpful. Um, so as you can see here, I just kind of go down to the ground. No particular um, optimization for the, the skip in, in regards to like how fast I'm going to go in through it, but you can definitely optimize this one a little bit better than I have here. This is kind of just general, as I went, my thoughts of a path that would work well. Not to say that it's accurate. It can definitely be changed up. Um, from there, it's just Water Wheel, because unfortunately Nova Warp can't really utilize the upper areas as much, which kind of sucks. I really wish it could. That would be quite helpful. Um, but as you can see, the rest of this is going to be the same as what you saw with the Icarus Dash skating in regards to just the skating with the Icarus Dash, using some sword swipe swap method um, here or there, kind of whatever works for you in regards to keeping you both high in regards to your bounce, so getting good height, um, as well as distance, speed going through these. Once again, I would say highly recommend just testing, seeing what works for you. That is going to be very effective for getting you this consistently. Same thing here, crossing the Vexmo, pop your Heat Rises, um, use your Double Icarus. And then at the end of that, you want to just double jump essentially into the wall and get that height. So you can go up that wall pretty cleanly. Alright, so from there, it's just kind of finishing out. Typical, it's the same as the Icarus Dash skip, so feel free to skip ahead to the Hunter skip if you're interested in a little little bit of a spicy one. Because Hunter took me uh, quite a few tries. <laughs> Alright, so we're just kind of finishing this out here. Ooh, a little mess up on my part. Oh well. That's one thing you got to be uh, kind of understanding with as well. Skips are going to be very messy at times, so feel free to, feel free to fail. It's not a bad thing. It's something to learn from. All right, so let's move on to the Hunter Skip. With Hunter Skip, we're going to be utilizing a few different uh, few different things. So obviously, Temptations Hook, Hunter Mobility, and Stoppies. Surprise, surprise, the movement exotics are helpful. All right, so Bottom Tree Tether. And then I like to use Triple Jump. Yeah, I think it's up to preference. Strafe Jump may work with really well, but yeah, it's kind of whatever. For this, I just do Jump, Sword Swipe, Jump, Sword Swipe. And as long as you time it out, give yourself you know some room to breathe between each one you tend to find yourself getting some good distance with hunter um so that's one of the things that i'd say is definitely really really good when doing any kind of hunter skips or things obviously you typically wouldn't see this in a speed run it's not to say it can't be utilized there might be situations where say you need the hunter to go on skip and you want the other classes in the actual encounters so you know in that situation maybe best to hold a hunter skip Obviously, in current meta, I don't really see a use for this, because the Hunter does have um, some good damage output in regards to most encounters, so I don't know. Maybe there's a use case for this. Maybe not. Once again, I'm just stretching out my jumps here, so jump, sword swipe, jump, sword swipe, and then popping super. So with this one, I'm spacing out my shots to gain as much distance as possible, and at the end of your super, you can sword swipe again. Um, you can't jump, but you can sword swipe, so that will get you that final distance. From there, obviously, it's just jump up, sword swipe in, go to the area and kill yourself. From that, you drop down, spawn at the area below, and we're going to finish out this hunter skip without having any kind of movement other than a sword. And stompies, of course. So, this is going to be the same as with the Warlock Domblade. We're just going to be utilizing this left-hand side area to kind of finish out this skip. It's pretty pretty useful, I would say, um, in regards to having an area you can use, and you don't have to worry about you know what resources you have to make it happen. Make it happen because it's super easy. And then it's just kind of you know 
Utilizing the hunter jumps to spread them out, give them either speed for me, or, you know, give me some mobility, whether that be height for sword swiping or whatnot. Right, so that's the first hunter jump down, or we'll first skip for hunter down. Uh, once again, we're kind of moving on to second skip, and I don't necessarily see a use for this. It's kind of inconsistent for me at the moment. I'd have to practice it to get it down more consistently. Same thing, sword, hunter mobility movements of stompies and in this case blade barrage because if you may or may not know blade barrage can actually give you a little extra height if you can hit yourself with it up against a wall um, so it can be actually used to gain just a tad bit more height is it too useful meh but it works i use triple jump just to start out this one it's a a little bit rougher to do this on a hunter because obviously I mean this isn't the class that I've practiced this isn't a class that I utilize this is literally the one of the few times that I've actually tried to do this skip with hunter all right so I get up here and I swap over to high jump the reason I swap over to high jump is because it does give you the most height out of a hunter so if you space out your jump just a little bit you'll notice that that combined with the blade barrage is just enough to get you to sword swipe in this little ledge is a pain in the butt. I honestly think that if you double swipe at the very least, you'll reset your jump in that little left-hand side. Um, single swiping doesn't seem to do too much, so I think if you can hold yourself down essentially onto that platform, you can force it to reset your jumps. Um, you'll, you saw that at the end of that. Obviously with this, I just use the high jump and sword swiping to maintain height and kind of reset that timer to an extent um, as I finish up this. Right, and from there, I swap over to triple jump. You could honestly probably go strafe jump. Um, I just feel that triple jump is going to be more useful for hunters in general. I messed up there. I fell. So I had to kind of just cut that to a jump where I uh, quote unquote made it. All right, and from there, just getting the hunter down to the ground level. You didn't really have to jump up to get them down to the ground level you could always just jump down directly i once again this is not an optimized skip i never do hunter skip so it's more for the fun of it um from here you can just kind of finish out the water wheel is going to be your friend just to kind of get you up there because obviously you can't you don't really have a method to maintain height with hunter so you can't really do any of the other available skips um in this area to skip water wheel And it's just a nice, simple ride up. And in case you're wondering about the water wheel as well, there is a little spot. You may notice how I stand on the water wheel. If you think about it like it's, uh, think about it like it's a rectangle, and gravity gravity's forces are pushing down on you as it rotates. Obviously, the uh, the way gravity is going to be pushing against you is going to rotate as well. Um, so it's always going to be going down but you're gonna be rotating based on where you're standing. So you're either gonna slide off if you're too far to one side, or you know, you're gonna to have to constantly move yourself into place. So what I like to do is I like to stick my legs kind of on both sides of that. One's on the surface that's being rotated into like a more vertical surface. The other is on the far right, which is just kind of what's rotating to be the flat surface. As you can see, I do use the right-hand side little nook doing the over the Vex milk kind of skip with Hunter. Once again, something you could utilize or not, depending on whether or not you find something more viable um, to speed up the ending of this. Because this is super unoptimized. Like I said, never use Hunter, so hey. It's definitely not one that I'm going to be optimizing anytime soon either. Uh, up here, we kind of get him to the end, and that's pretty much the Hunter skip. So if for whatever reason, say you're doing this for just going for chess, cool, I guess, but I wouldn't recommend using Hunter to go for a chest, kind of regardless. It's a pain in the ass just to get in there. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of just to showcase these skips and hopefully give you another, another perspective on it. If you have any questions of it, feel free to leave those in either the comments below or message me on Discord directly. I usually tend to get back and try to help out where I can when it comes to um, these skips, because they're not always easy to start out with. Uh, the more you practice them and the more you work with them, the better you're going to get. And study other people's skips, see what they use, and kind of take what works for you away from that. That testing, that studying, and, uh, you know, 
essentially taking people's assets or what they tend to use is going to help you a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, once again, shoot them my way. Uh, and have a wonderful day.